everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with Laura and we are getting ready to go to school in the morning. She has to go to her daycare and so I got her all ready. She's wearing her little squirrel outfit and we've already packed her bag. We did her whole little routine. If you want to see her morning routine before daycare, I have a video of that up. But I wanted to have her like teachers film at daycare and I thought that that would be really really cute so you guys can see kind of what she does so we are taking her off to school and um, she likes to call it school she has her hippopotamus stroller we have the bag with all her stuff packed in it and she I don't know what sibling she wants to walk to school with her this morning I was thinking maybe Caleb but can I bring Caleb I think we'll bring Caleb. He's a good little guy to hang out with. I'm gonna go grab his blanket and then he'll come with us. All right, here he is all wrapped up. So now we're going to just walk her off to preschool or daycare. Ready, Laura? Now we have our like, trash bags. Let's go. All right, we're almost at her school and we'll show you when we are there. So we are at Laura's little school. So they have this little table that she sits at. And the teacher said she actually likes to, she prefers to sit alone than with the other kids. But, oh, I didn't even buckle you in, did I? Huh, you little sneaky little girl. And Caleb is just right here for anyone who is wondering. I just put him down. So I'm going to put um, Laura into her little chair so she can... At her preschool. Here you go. There you go. Girl, here. Let's push you in. Oh. Maybe slouching. She's tired. And then she takes her little daycare bag here. And we can put your blankie in there. Here's your dolly. Do you want dolly? Yeah, her coat's in here again. I could not get her to put it on. <laughs> Teachers always ask her why she's not wearing her coat, but that's why, because she doesn't want to. All right, let's say goodbye to Laura, and her teachers will take over from here. Here, Laura, I'm going to take this out, because you're at preschool now, okay? Or daycare. I don't know, we just call it like daycare and preschool. You say, do you want your dolly? No. No, you don't want dolly? No. No. Do you want anything? Juice. You want your juice? Here it is. Here's your juice. Here you go. You can have your juice on your table. Yeah, her teachers will just kind of like take over from here and I will give them the camera. And we have Miss Paula, right, Miss Paula? Yeah, Paula. Miss Paula. And who else? What's the other teacher? <laughs> What's her name? No. Do you not have another one? No. Oh, it's just Miss Paula? I thought there were two. No. Oh, so it's just Miss Paula. Okay. I thought she had two teachers. She only has one. It's Miss Paula. So Miss Paula will take over from here. Keep her bag near her. And, yeah. So I'm going to take Caleb home. I don't know if he'll fit in this. I've never taken Caleb with us to drop her off. He's so little, it looks weird to put him in here. It might be a better way to carry him home if he won't cry. But we are going to go home, me and Caleb. I will buckle him in. But we're just going to say goodbye to Laura. So, goodbye, kisses. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. We'll see you later, okay? Okay. Hey, everyone. My name is Miss Paula. I don't really wish to share my face on the internet with you all, but I, I will film Laura for you. So, here's Laura. She's just... What are you doing, Laura? Mm, I don't know. You don't know? Are you having your juice? She has some apple juice in here. Do you want to sip? Mm-hmm. You can have a sip. Here you go. You like your apple juice? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're a good girl. Yum. Yum. <laughs> that is good. Yes. So, here, we'll put the cap on. You can take that off, right? Yeah. Yeah, all right. So... What do you want to do, Laura? Little Miss Laura. She's one of the youngest kids at the daycare. One and a half, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
Your mom packed your dolly. Do you want to play with your dolly? Yeah. Yeah, okay, you can play with your doll. And I can find you some other toys to play with too, okay? Okay. Here, we can move your juice so you have more room for your doll. She doesn't have to stay on this chair, but sometimes she prefers to. Do you want to sit on the floor or on the chair? Chair. You want to sit on the chair? How about I pull you out a little bit so you have a little more room? And I'm, oh, you're falling. No. No, are you tired? And you just don't want to sit up like a big girl? Yeah. Yeah, how about we set you up just to be safe, okay? Okay. All right, here we go. I know I'm wearing short sleeves today. It's kind of chilly. Whoa! Ah. Come out, come here. Okay, you want to get out? Yeah. All right, you don't want to sit in your chair. That's fine, you don't have to sit in your chair. Here, you can sit on the ground. Yeah. Yeah, okay. No. You don't want to sit here? All right, come on. Now she's just kind of hanging out on the ground over here, and I've got her um, dolly for her. Here's Dolly, right? Is that what you call it? No. What do you call her? Baby. Baby. Oh. And your mom tells me you have some siblings at home, right? Yeah. Yeah, I remember. She brings them in this, in the mornings with you, right? Yeah. And in the afternoon when she picks you up. Which one? Do you have a favorite sibling, Laura? Yeah. You do? Who's your favorite? Shane. Shane's your favorite? That's really cool. All right, I'm going to go find you some other toys to play with, okay? Okay. All right. We have some fun little toys for Laura and the other students to play with. Um, here, look, Laura. Do you want to see what I found? Yeah. I found all these really fun foods that you can play with. Do you want to play with some food? Yeah. And look, you can feed them to Dolly, right? Or Baby. Nom, nom, nom. Eat the corn. No. No? She doesn't like corn? No. Here, what food do you want? Cookie. A cookie? Here's a cookie. You can have a cookie. What food does Dolly want? We can get her whatever she wants. A brownie. A brownie? Does she want a pink one? Or a brown one? Like the yellow one. Pink. Pink? Okay. Looks like you're liking pink today. Oh, look at you, double fist in it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Do you like the foods? Yeah. And look, there's some milk you can feed the baby. Ready? See how has a cow for milk? <sighs> nom, nom, nom. See the cow? <sighs> nom, nom, nom. <laughs> how about you have some orange juice? Do you want orange juice? No. No, eat it up. Nom, nom, nom. No. <laughs> <laughs> how about something healthy like some um, watermelon? No, she. <laughs> no. What does she want? A donut? Yeah. She wants a donut? <gasps> mm. Here's baby's donut. She can have the donut, and you can have your cookies and brownies. Laura and baby have dumped all of the little foods everywhere. They made such a big mess, I know, right? Yeah. And Laura actually did play with some of the other kids, um, which is good. She doesn't usually play with the other kids. But today she decided to put some of the other kids with the, uh, the food and share with them. So I was really proud of her for doing so. And so we are going to clean up the toys now. Or at least the food because it's time to move on to something else that we're going to play with. So, Laura, can you help clean up? You know how to put all the toys back in the bin? Do you want to help put yours in? Ready? Put it in. No. No, why not? Nine. I know it, you are playing with it, but you have to put them back. See all the little french fries have their little french fry containers. Here, let's put all of them back where they belong in the nice little red bucket. You don't want a tomato, do you? Yeah. You do? Here, can you please put them back in the bin? No! Here, put them in. No! Why, Laura? It's just a little bucket. And you just have to put the toys back so we can play with something else. No! No! I got Laura to calm down with her pacifier, her blankie, and her dolly. She's a little mad at me now, but we have to clean up. You can play with those tomorrow. Or actually not tomorrow because it's Friday, but you can play with them another day, right? 
<laughs> You're not going to? No. <laughs> no, okay, well, she's not going to play with them another day, but I'm sure she will. But you just have to learn to clean up, okay? That's part of playing. You have to clean up after yourself. All right, here. Are you all done yet? No, are you all calm? No. What do you want? Use your words. What do you want? Bubba. Bubba. You want Bubba? Yeah. Okay. Here's your Bubba. No! 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 It's right here. Oh, Laura, that wasn't very nice. Don't want that. You don't want that? No. Then what do you want? Bubba. Bubba? Oh, I found it in her in her bag. She has a bottle. Did you know Mommy packed this? Mm-hmm. All right, here you go. Do you want me to do it? No. No, okay, here you go. You can hold it. Oh, you just want to throw it here? Hold it. No. All right, do what you want. Part of working at a daycare is that you really have to be patient with all the kids and um, understand that they're not always going to want to do what you want to do with them and not want to do all the activities, but... Um, she is one of the youngest, so I kind of expected her to be a little bit more difficult and less understanding than the other kids, which is completely fine. I can totally work with it. We always allow extra time in our schedule to do everything we want to do because we know some kids will put up a fight and not want to do exactly what everyone else is going to be doing. So we always add in some extra time in our schedule. So she's just going to have her bottle right, and then you can come and play. Mm-hmm. Okay, someday she's a little cranky, and I think today is one of those days. Laura's now about to play with something really fun. I told her she has to sit down, but she is kneeling, so it's not really exactly what we want her to be doing, but it will work, and she is a little bit shorter than the other babies or the other children, so I think she'll be okay if she's kneeling. And we are going to keep an eye on her while she is doing this. Alright, so what we're going to be playing with is something super duper fun. Laura, I think you're really going to like it. It's right here. This is some little sand. And it's, we have some fake sand right here. There's some little shapes that she can press the sand into to play with. And I think she'll really enjoy playing with this sand. It's a very, very fun sand as well. Let's see, can I show them? It's moon sand and it's really fun. I think Laura will really like it. I have not introduced this to the students yet. Hopefully she will enjoy it. Laura, go ahead and play in the sand. 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 Yes, look at how cool your sand is. It's pink like your shirt. <laughs> you can reach it. Go ahead, good, good job. You got it, see, you just have to reach. Do you like the sand? Sand. Sand. Look at you playing in sand. Sand. Do you like the sand? Yeah. You do? That's awesome, Laura. Mm. Oh, no, honey, don't dump it out. Oh, Whew. good thing it didn't fall out. Do you want me to put you a little bit? Oh, there is some on the table now. I'll get you a little bit for the table. Okay. Oh, it's getting stuck in my nails. Hold on. What's the best way to go about doing this without getting it all stuck under my nails? Because that's not exactly what I want. Here we go. There is some at the top. Just dump a little bit in my hand. Okay, and then I will smush it together for you. And the good thing is it's pretty easy cleanup because it just sticks to itself. Look at that. Go, Laura. It's probably better to play in the container, but I will give her some freedom and let her play with it however she wishes. So you can play with that. All right, do you want to play with it? Yeah. Yeah? All right, you can play with it all you want. It's sand. It is sand. 
Good job. Are you smushing it? Yeah. And good job cleaning it up and keeping it all in one area. Push it. Smush it. Good. <laughs> Sand. Sand. Is it on your hands? Oh, yep. We got some on your fingers. Oh, whoop. <laughs> Are they on these fingers? Yeah. Oh, you got some on the chair. You weren't supposed to spill it on the chair, were you? I don't think so. Here it is. That was on the chair. Do you want to play with some more? Yeah. Sand. Sand. You're a good girl. Look at you. Down. You just like to pat it, huh? Yeah. Sand, sand, sand. Yeah. Oh, you're such a good girl, Laura. Sand, 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 sand. Sand, 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 sand. That's right. I am now trying to clean up Laura's sand. She does not really mind right now that I'm cleaning it up. I don't think she really knows what I'm doing with it. So, I am putting it away. She's been playing with this for about a half hour. She's been playing with this for a long time. I know. You play with this for a long time, Laura. You must really like the sand. I'll have to play with this another time here. We can just leave it. Our janitor will clean the floor so it'll get vacuumed up but that is our sand it is time to um get laura ready for a nap we always make sure the children have a nap before they go home because they do tend to be quite tired from playing at school here you go i don't want you to fall forward because i know how you are sitting on your chair it's not really proper but here you go okay yeah what is it? Mama's. It's Mama's? What is it? Camera. It's Mommy's camera, that's right. Hi, <laughs> wave it hi. Hi. Uh. I know you love the camera your mom was telling me. Hi. Hi. Saying hi to them? Yeah. Are you ready for your nap? No. Are you tired? tired. Yeah. All right, come here. Come on. Let's get you to your nap. She is taking her nap right here. She's about to. She has her pacifier, um, a bottle. Her mom said she really likes to have a bottle when she's going to bed. She has her blanket. So she's just going to take a, about a 20 minute nap and then we will wake her up a little bit later. All right, everyone, it's time to wake up Laura. Oh, she dropped her bottle and her pacifier as well. Laura, it's time to get up from your nap, sweetie. Wake up, please. Nap time's over. <laughs> oh, what's going on? <sighs> Are you still tired? Yeah. Yeah, look at you. You're very cute. Come on, it's time to get up. No. Yeah, and then you can go and do some more fun things, right? And then you can go home to see mom. See mom? Mm -hmm. You wanna go home, I know. But you've gotta wake up and go do other things, okay? Okay. Okay. So usually when they wake up from their naps, we check if they have any diapers or pull-ups, we check those. Um, Laura does have one, but her mother did say that she is um, starting potty training so we are going to be helping out with that a little bit and I'm gonna check her pull up if there's nothing in it then we will go into the bathroom and see if she will use it so we're just gonna go check her um, pull up really quick considering all that she drank today she actually does not have to go potty so well she did not go potty yet in her um, pull up so we are going to take her into the bathroom here at the school and see if she has to go there ready to go say I'm ready Miss Paula ready Miss Paula ready Miss Paula ready let's go here's our little bathroom it is kind of small in here we do have a shower in case there is any emergencies that require needing to wash them off 
And we also have a sink, of course, for messy things and after using the potty. So we are just going to get her on this. We have the potty open and her diaper is off. I have her about to get on the potty. She is on the potty right now. And um, as you can see, she's like sitting here. I'm holding her up so she doesn't fall. Her pants are down. We just didn't really want to show that. But she is sitting on the potty, this big girl, huh? No, I'm not off. You want to get off, but you haven't gone yet. No, I'm off. You want off? Can you just try a little harder? <coughs> Laura, please just try and go potty for me. Mm-hmm. <coughs> go potty. Go potty. Can you try? Yeah. All right, thank you for trying. We'll get back to you guys a little later. So, Laura did do some coloring and she did not end up using the potty. So we were sad about that because her mom did want us to see if she would do anything. Her hair is everywhere, huh? Except from your nap. It's all messy, probably. But she is getting ready to go home and her mom will be here really shortly. Laura, look who's here. It's your mom and your sister. You can take it from here. Thank you, Miss Paula. Was she good today? Of course she was good. Did she use the potty today? Um, no, we tried. We got close. We were sitting on it. Good job here. Thank you. Hi, guys. I brought Raylan to pick her up today from home from school. Raylan had this blanket on her. I just put her down. She has her little mouse outfit. Here's Laura. Was it fun at school today? No. No? Oh, she had a lot of fun. She didn't even want to put some of the toys away. Oh, you sneaky girl. Telling mommy no, but you meant yes. And no coat. Oh no, she put up a fight. Oh, I'm, I'm sure she did. All right, you ready to go home? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's go. I have your bag right here. I'm trying to buckle it with one hand. Here's your bag. We can put this on the back of your little car seat. Well, not car seat. Carriage. Stroller. That's the right word. I'll get Raylan out, and then you can go. And she's all buckled up and ready to go, and I've got Raylan, so let's go. Alright, well she had an awful lot of fun at daycare, I think. I hope you guys enjoyed watching her at daycare. So thank you all so much for watching. Please click like and subscribe, and in the comments, let us know what you thought of her um, day at daycare. And we'll see you later. Bye!